This week I've been thinking about the importance of art update emails, or e-newsletters as they're called. I started sending art update emails, which is what I call them, um, at the very beginning. I don't even think anyone ever told me to do it. I just started to do it. I somehow knew it was the thing to do. And I got confirmation on that early on when um, a gallery that I'd been trying to connect with, you know, and I'd been sending him art update emails. Eventually I kind of made a submission to his, e to his gallery and um, did have him over for a studio visit and he like told me you know I've been receiving your art update emails and you know those are really important to do he said so keep doing them and he said it with the utmost earnest you know earnestness um, and it it really struck me because actually I know a lot of the artists that I work with have like a deathly fear of like just adding people to their art update email list and um, and for me I started I initially just I added everyone <laughs> I don't know I just added all my friends and family and all my co-workers workers. Um, I think I had read about it actually in some book to do it. I think that's what happened and I just did it. And then I started to add any galleries that I was submitting to, you know, any contacts that I was trying to like nourish, I would just add them to my art update email list. And they could unsubscribe. Like I in, initially early on I was using MailChimp, which is free for, for accounts that have like less than 5,000 contacts, which I had less than 5,000 for, you know, like 10 years or something. So that'll last you a long time and it was free. And at the bottom of every email there would be like don't want to receive my emails just unsubscribe you know so it's very easy if they don't want to hear it they can just unsubscribe so you never have to think about it again and so I would send and I still do like art update emails maybe once a month sometimes just four times a year but regularly though and I know initially I started out with a little bit of like long winding emails like casually talking in a certain um, you know, trying to be interesting and telling the story about my whole life or something and all my art developments and editing it, showing it to a friend to get them to edit it. I would work like for weeks or something on this perfectly worded, you know, email and include, you know, images and everything. But eventually I uh, started to realize that actually nobody likes to read long emails and like the less words, the better. Um, and that really simplified things for me because now I almost put it like almost in note form, just like, this is what's happened. You know, a nice little like introduction, like, you know, I hope this email finds you well and you're enjoying, you know, spring or whatever it is, something about whatever time of year it is. And then, you know, like I've got some exciting news to share and then basically point form about what it is and sort of a link to each thing. So whether it's a gallery show, we'll link to that, you know, and I'll include like a few images in each email as well. And yeah, and just include the links. And so it's like very few words, all the information is there, but it's a important and I was doing this right from the start like you can always find something to talk about if you don't have any like shows or awards or news like you can like finish a painting and tell the story about the painting but it shows people that you're like active as an artist which is so important because when we like submit to galleries a very common and actually extremely good response is for them to say like I'd like to see where you're at in six months because they've never heard of you before they don't know if you're still going to be like working in six months so if they say something like they'd like to see where you're at in six months that is actually extremely good some artists might get like like depressed about this like oh it's a rejection but actually that's one of the best responses you can get so by adding them to your art update email list and sort of continuing to send them whatever news you've got it shows them over a long period of time like yes I'm still active I'm still doing what it takes you know things are happening and then whenever you do have like an art show or you know or you're teaching a class or you win an award or you're featured in a magazine or um, just w whatever yeah you finish a painting or you know whatever medium you work in you can send out that news and it just shows everyone that you're active and it's actually one of the best ways to get kind of business without sort of like trying like um, I'll often find that I'll get I often at the bottom of my emails say like p.s. I'm currently taking on new commissions you know email me if you're interested or um, that kind of thing. Apparently people read the PS's more than the rest, so consider what you're writing the PS. But yeah, so I'm not even out there being like, please hire me, like, will you please buy one of my paintings? Um, which by the way, I often end with like, I hope one of my paintings will find a home in your collection, you know, will speak to you and find a home in your collection. That's a good way to like end an email. So you are telling them actively what you hope will happen out of this email, which is actually important. You're not um, like it's kind of like the call to action thing that they talk about in I don't know email marketing type of campaign things um, 
but but I'm not out there soliciting, you know, business or something. I'm just sending out my art updates and whatever comes back is great. But it does, it also can kind of warm the waters for like gallery connections in the future. It really does just show your artist community that you're active as an artist, which is like one of the most important things, you know, that we can show. So. So I highly, highly suggest that if you don't have an email art update date list, you know, yet start one today and send out anything, send out something and it can be like short or long or whatever you want. I was just remembering, you know how I used to write these long emails and then I shortened it to more important form. Somewhere in the middle of that when I was making it like shorter but still, you know, kind of well written. And I did send it to a friend to get her to help me edit it and we spent some time making it kind of moving and meaningful and everything and it had some good news in there. And out of the blue, I got an email back from the editor of the artist magazine who I'd added to my email art update list at one point and we'd had some connection before and stuff and it fully out of the blue she was like how would you like to have your work on the cover of the artist magazine I, I had actually sent out the demo photo for one of the workshops that I had taken and she liked the photo and wanted to use it on the cover of the artist magazine so it just shows how you never know what opportunities will open up for you from any one art update email but send them regularly and it'll it be like amazing what over time will develop so let me know in the comments what kind of things you like to include in your art update emails as well as any like fears or hesitations you have and also i'm offering a both painting workshop on december 2nd so if you'd like to sign up for that click the link below and i hope to see you there <laughs>